Good afternoon everyone from Bizert in Tunisia, the northernmost city in Africa. I am just about to walk to the port area and walking through the town centre now you can get an idea of activity here. So about 140,000 people live here, that's what I've read. And it's in the north of Tunisia, of course, given it's Africa's northernmost city. Everyone I've spoken to on my trip, when I said I will visit Bizert, they, uh, they said it's a beautiful city and you will really enjoy it. As you can see your local markets. Then this is where the local shop clothes and shoes and all different kinds of things. And I'm hoping that the port is in that direction. Even if it isn't getting lost in Tunisia is always fun and I'm sure there's going to be an adventure. See Vinnie Mouse for sale there together with Barcelona. I think that's a mosque over there. Yeah, just a hub of activity. It's quite quiet, but there's a lot of activity going on. So, lots of things for sale, of course. Look at this, phone covers, phones. Let this car pass here. Big open air market here in Bizert. Wow, shoes. Shoes are very popular for sale here in Tunisia. I've seen loads of shoe stalls in uh, Tunis, for example. Let's look here. Jackets and coats, trousers. Cigarettes for sale here, socks. Look at that shop there, TikTok. Wow, just uh, so many people here. Mm. Right, let's exit the market because I think that guy said camera or something. So maybe it's uh, it's less suspicious to walk down here. And here we got the flags of the world. A lot of flags here in this street in Bizet. Yeah, just walking down here to the harbour. I've met this gentleman here who's going to show me to the port. Thank you, monsieur. Merci. Don't speak English, but uh, he's very, very speak friendly. English, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, it's good, monsieur. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for showing me to the port. And people in Tunisia are very friendly, of course. Very friendly country. And again, cats in Bizert as well, like in other parts of. Lots of cats, monsieur. Yes. Left. Turn left and then and then go there. Okay. Merci Monsieur, thank you. Have a nice day. Right. Some works of art here against the wall. Fishing boat there in the port, so bizarre. Obviously a port city. So I've also read online that this was the last part of Tunisia that was actually uh, still under French control so the last bit of French Tunisia before it got its independence on this side you got some interesting works of art again on the wall and check this out the beautiful port of Bizet and a huge huge boat here but yo, how peaceful and tranquil this is it's almost like a little venice with all the colors of the buildings and just marveling this boat i did not expect to see this this is magnificent Just my kind of harbour, so let's go and stroll around a bit. Would be 
Gesagt, also renowned, I believe, for some seafood. Let's just get an idea of the prices here. The restaurant. Hello, Monsieur. How are you? Very good. It's your restaurant. Very nice. You speak English? A little bit. Yeah. You speak French. You speak French. No French, Monsieur. My French is merci and bonjour. <laughs> Sorry, Monsieur. Thank you. Sometimes it's actually helpful not to speak the local lingo. And I know a lot of people will say, well, you should learn the language when you go abroad to other places. And I can understand the argument for that as well. But sometimes if you want to be anonymous in a place and not be hassled, it's, it's a huge advantage not to speak the language. So I wasn't planning to have some food there. Because I want to walk around and see the beautiful, colorful buildings here in Bezert, in the port. And you can see it's also a popular place for other Tunisians to come and relax. Again, a world apart from places like Tunis. <laughs> Even the markets we were earlier, the noise levels, for example, a lot lower than in places like Place de Barcelona in Tunis. Even though there were still a lot of markets. Yeah, well. This is absolutely beautiful. Even the cats are relaxed. Look at that. Not a worry in the world. Bizert, also the gateway to Cape Angela or Ras Angela, as it's known in Arabic, the northernmost point in Africa. And I've been told that it does not get the same amount of tourists as other places such as Hamamet and Sous. And I'm surprised to hear that actually because it's absolutely spectacularly beautiful. And maybe because those places I've just mentioned, Hamamet and Sous, for example, are popular as resort destinations where people just sit in the hotel and they don't go out and meet real people on the street or experience a real Tunisia. And I would absolutely recommend coming to Bizert. And that's an old fortified wall by the looks of it as well. I could just spend hours and hours here relaxing and people watching and just look at all the different colors on the boats as well. You can see the, uh, the boat here has got its number and then presumably the number in Arabic as well. Yeah, life is really slow paced in this part of Tunisia, the northernmost part of Africa. Let's just have a casual stroll there. There's some more markets we could visit later. I think I'm first going to walk a little bit there towards the, uh, the wall and see what's up there. And then we can always come back to the market area. Some people on motorbikes as well, getting around the port. Look at what this cat did. It destroyed this lamppost. Why did you destroy this lamppost? Kitty? Okay. I think the cat told me because I wanted to, so stay out of my way. That was the, the message. I will just keep on walking. Look at this uh, colorful boat here. And also look at the look at the colors of the buildings there reflected in the water. Beautiful. So a few people on motorcycles here. I've uh, noticed that's a popular way of transport in other parts of Tunisia as well. And, uh, some more restaurants over here and you have some blue and white buildings there as well and blue and white seating areas perhaps we're trying to copy Sidi Bou Said or Santorini who knows Earlier on, before I uh, 
started this vlog I had a cappuccino in the center of town and it was about one dinner 200 or 1.2 dinner compared to the four or four and a half you'll pay in places like Sidi Bou Said so what I'm trying to tell you is the cost of living here is on the face of it a lot lower and also as a tourist coming here your money will go further you'll get a lot more bang for your buck mm, it's a brilliant fortified wall it looks to be people living there is it you can see washing and potted plants or uh, people taking photos Oh, what a relaxing walk down here. You can even just take a quick breather here and just uh, take in a view. And this is the view I've got at the moment. Like I say, it does have a feeling of being in Venice almost. With all the colourful buildings in places like Murano and Burano. But with a North Africa touch. Yeah, one thing I've noticed is green is a popular colour for doors here in Desert, certainly. And there's a fisherman. Wonder what he's catching, what type of fish they catch here. Right, let's go and see the, uh, the markets on the other side of the harbour. Fixing his boat. So what do you think of Bizert? Let me know in the comments and let me know if this is a part of the world you'd be inclined to visit. As I said, not many tourists come here compared to other parts of Tunisia, such as Hamamet or Sous. But I think they are missing a trick. I definitely think it's worth trekking up north, as far north as you can get in Tunisia. So I mentioned green doors on the other side and here the blue, the blue door such as Notting Hill is much more popular on this side of the, uh, the harbour. And here's uh, the other side of the, uh, the port. And there's a few more locals here. And I guess that's because of the markets and more shops over here and uh, more cats. There's a dolphin, bienvenue. Yeah, maybe uh, another place drawing some inspiration from Sidi Bou Said. Let's check out what they have for sale here. Clothes. They have some toy cars. And you've got some household stuff here. That's an interesting uh, mural over there. Save water. I don't know if that's Poseidon, perhaps, or another Greek god. We've got a ship there. And yeah, just let me know if you, uh, if you can figure out who they've got depicted here. Save water. We love Bizert. And look, there's a, this is interesting. Smoking crab. The smoking Sebastian from the Little Mermaid. A tiger. Hello, Monsieur. Look at that tiger there. Eh? I bet the cats of Bizet is not gonna look for trouble with that tiger. Yeah, here's the markets in the port area from the other side of the road. You can see some of the stuff you can buy there. Articles, accessories, lingerie. And the clothes are all on these wagons or trolleys. And I suppose when the market is shut, they just take the trolleys away. 
move him to the next location or go home. Kitchen paper and yeah, some dried, is it dried peppers? Here you've got the handbags and the shoes. So Tunisia, undoubtedly the country of cats and the country of shoes. Just the number of shoes that they've got for sale here. Look here as well. Incredible. Monsieur, how are you? Good, good. <laughs> yes. Hello, monsieur. How are you? Very good. <laughs> Some more household stuff in this market. Here's the fruit markets with pomegranate and orange. Lemons and citrus fruit for sale. Tomatoes and some dates as well. Dates very popular in this part of the world. Hello, Monsieur. How are you? No photo. It's okay. I'm just walking, Monsieur. Yeah. Good. Is you like you like is it good? Pomegranate. Good. Good. You make juice. 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 Ah, yes, yeah. Oh man, Grenadine. Grenadine, yeah. yeah. No, it's good, monsieur, but thank you. Uh, merci, yeah. Merci, I should have a Yeah, boy. Yeah, just trying to sell me some fruit, but uh, yeah, not today, I guess. Oh, well, even more here. More dates. And of course, more shoes. <laughs> Lots of clothes, and hey, you guessed it shoes and boots now yeah, there's a lot of stuff here as well for sale there's a big uh, vegetable market there i wonder if i could go in Hello, sir. Photo okay? Yeah, good. <laughs> Merci. Thank you, mon ami. Wow, big, uh, big indoor market here. Lots of fruit for sale. Oh, hello, sir. How are you? Lots of variety. There's the spices over there. We've got olives, and citrus fruit here. We've got some uh, sound of birds. Yeah. Hello, Monsieur. Hello. Yeah. Food traders par excellence here. Yeah. Some spices. So this is a Tunisian fruit market, fruit and veg market, here in Bizert. Look at all these dates. Hello my friend, how are you? Good. These are dates. Oh, very good, very good, yeah. Merci, thank you. Another shot of the market from this side. Very interesting just to uh, just to stroll around here. I'm just walking back to the harbour area. Just checking out more of our houses and architecture here. More people drying their clothes outside. Notice the uh, the street lights here are different than the ones in Tunis. They don't have the um, I don't know what you call the upper part of a light that was also covered. But you can see here uh, just the way they lined out there. I, uh, I bet at night it must be quite beautiful in this port as well. I'm just passing the, uh, the markets here again. Look at all these dolls and teddies and stuff for sale here. Hello, my friend, how's it? 
Hello, my friend. How's it? There's someone painting his kiosk or his uh, stand. There's a few other stand that's not in use at the moment. More cats looking for something to eat in the rubbish. Yeah, Tunisia, the country of cats, shoes, and these camel shops. That's the three things I think I'll remember about Tunisia the most. But also, I will remember this boat here in Bizert, and I'm going to read up about this. But in the meantime, if anyone knows more about this boat or ship, about its history and purpose, let us know in the comments, please. Just walking back to the Louage station. And. What's the video? Tebu. Tebu, yes, very nice. Yeah, just walking back to the Louage station. And it's my one on me, thank you. Many people only speak Arabic in Bizert. Not a lot of French or English, but he's uh, taking me to the Loire station. And it's amazing just how often we depend on the kindness of strangers to help us get places. Anyway, guys, this is where I'll end my vlog. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Bizert, the northernmost city in Africa. If you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching my videos, and I'll see you again soon.